You're such an asshole. Assholeconsulting.com got a very interesting question. I did delve into this a while ago, several years ago I did uh, a video, but he asked a very specific question. Hey Aaron, I think the root of most problems in the world today come from one thing, people having kids they can't afford. Boom, end of set. You are right. Right there. That's the number one problem. Right? And the reason is because when you have a kid, this is why if you had a kid out of wedlock, uh, you were ostracized from society, because the kid is innocent. And the kid, children, I don't know if you know this, humans are the number one consumption, uh, resource consuming thing in the history of the world, especially when they're little kids. So they're innocent because they didn't control that their mom was a slut and their dad was a fucking piece of shit. They just spread their legs, came, uh, 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 kid. Now the kid's like, fuck, what did I do? Kid didn't do nothing. Unfortunately, this kid, we're going to have to spend, well, today, 25 years of resources raising it. But back in the olden days, like 15 maybe. <clears throat> and that's a huge tax on society. Because you what, you got to let the kid go on. And sometimes they would. They'd just like throw the kid off a cliff. Or if you happen to be handicapped or whatever, they just kill you. Drop you off a cliff. Because resources were not that, were not that plentiful back in the day. Today, though, we just, you know, but it doesn't change the fact that when you have irresponsible, already parasitic parents having and breeding children, you encumber upon society a huge expense, anywhere between two hundred to two hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of expenses, to carry this infant to the point that it might become an adult. And I don't know if you've noticed this, but when you collect government checks your entire life, you may not turn out to be the most self-reliant adult after the age of 18. You, you, may, you may not go and be a contributing member of society. Not to say you can't. I know plenty of people who are poor who uh, ended up becoming productive members of society. But in general, yes, you are 100% correct. It's, it's, if, if you look at, and I'll delve into this, you look at the budget, that is the number one problem. Without a doubt, it's the number one problem. Um, and it's the number one cause of problem. It's the number one cause of most of our social ills. Uh, the next biggest problem, I would say, is, you know, like maybe heart disease or <clears throat> whatever the, the next, but yeah, this is without a doubt, if you could just stop having kids out of wedlock. And, and not only that, just not have kids you can't afford because there are people, and this this isn't stereotypical, but think about this. The goody two-shoe Christians, the Lord will provide. It's like, no, fucking Uncle Sam. And no, it ain't Uncle fucking Sam. It's fucking taxpayer Joe like me that's got to pay for your the Lord will provide children. All these people, all these Christian people having children. And not just the Muslims, uh, Catholics. Seems everybody's all in this, let's just spit out kids and the Lord will provide bullshit. There's no birth control in the Catholic Church. So what? What do you... So, uh, yeah, if you, if, if you are 100% correct, we get rid of that. Whether you have kids out, not out of wedlock or in wedlock, whether you could afford them or not, that's the key thing. A lot of problems will go away. Uh, I think the world will be a happier place, yes. People get along better and be healthier if a good 90% of the people who couldn't afford to have kids didn't have them. Let alone the kids. I mean, think about these poor kids when they're, if you can't afford to have a kid and you're the kid, holy shit, do you know how shitty Christmas is? Do you know how much it sucks? Like, you know, these poor kids being dragged out at Walmart at midnight because their parents can't afford a babysitter or whatever, their fucking managerial and parenting skills are absolutely jack shit. What, how fun is that being the kid? And you guys know because some of you were kids whose parents shouldn't have had you. You're kind of like, uh, that sucks. Maybe a lot of you are deciding not to have kids because remember that. But yeah, you'd be a lot happier. People would be a lot happier. <laughs> uh, how do you think the world would be different if there was not so many people having kids they can't afford? Well, Africa would be a lot less populated. Central South America would be a lot less populated. Wyoming wouldn't have a population at all. Um, you just have a, a lot of these places where... They, and I understand I understand the argument. Well, they do that because out of the eight kids, only two will make it. I don't, you, no, no, no. They can't afford the kids. Just, just, with today's technology. In an agrarian society, 200 years ago, maybe. Right? But the population would be a lot less. Population would be a lot less. Across the board. Across the board. Every country. Um, so we, we got that. Perhaps if there was not such a high number of people having kids they can't afford, there would be no decline. There would be no death of America. Your thoughts? Yeah, yeah I'd, I'd, I'd be inclined to agree with that. But... So I had to sit and think a little bit, so I took a couple notes. So what it would look like. All right. One, if you back out all of the 
government programs that go to either pay directly for people's kids that they couldn't afford or their mistakes or their poverty deriving from the fact they had kids they couldn't afford. We'd have taxes, state, federal, and local, total around 10% GDP. Right now, I think it's about 38% GDP in the United States. So more than a third of your money goes to the state, federal, and local governments, right? Uh, but right now, we'd have a, about a, a tax rate of about 10% GDP, which is just basic government. Would we have a, you know, maybe in the, the, the tithing or the nonprofits, you know, you donate to charity, would that be considered a tax to take care of the genuinely poor, you know, like uh, widows and widowers? Okay, I understand that. Um, but the vast majority of money, uh, or taxes, would just be wiped out. We would pay a third of the taxes we're paying now, almost a fourth. So you could expect to pay about 10% about GDP, all right? Um, that would trigger a lot more economic growth, which I think would spur on technological advancement. I don't care to bore you with the production possibilities frontier, but basically, if we spend a trillion dollars on bailing out a single mom and their unwanted spawn uh, and trying to fruitless, fruitlessly try and track down deadbeat dads to pay that fucking money, uh, if we took that trillion dollars and instead spent it in, you know, like, internet technology, or we just gave it to GM and bought cars with it, then they'd have more money to put in R&D, and then they'd have electric cars. We'd have so much more fucking shit. Now, it depends on where where we would cut off. Like, at what point in history would we just not give money to bail out people that had kids they couldn't afford? We could, the most logical point would be 1965, the beginning of the uh, Great Society. And I did some math, and basically what our, our income per capita would be today is 100000 Like, on average, the average person would make 100000 So I don't know. Would that solve some problems for you? But no, let's just go. Hey, it's my baby! Ah! Oh, I'm sorry. You're making me remind me of Wyoming again. <laughs> Look here, my girlfriend. An R5. I mean, Enos a slat jaw Yoko from The Simpsons. I'm not joking. They must have gone to Wyoming. Anyway, if we got rid of all that shit, and these kids were never born in the first place, and we'd have to throw money at their, that their parents' lazy wannabe education. Oh, we're going to send you to tech school. You never do anything with yourself anyway. And all the food and all that. This doesn't mean kill the kids. This doesn't mean if they were never born in the first place. And we instead threw that money into the private sector... And said monies would make people richer through their 401ks, their IRAs. Oh, retirement plans would be more than adequately funded. Pensions would be more than funded. Uh, but these companies would have a lot more money to go and invest in R&D. And I'm only, I'm just wondering, like, what would, what would, ha would we'd have flying cars. We'd have, <clears throat> well, I can't guarantee that, but... Uh, you know, drones would have been invented, you know, the funny play drones, those would have been, been invented 30 years ago. Um... Uh, you know, the electric car, probably 25 years ago. Uh, Elon Musk would actually get his ass off and, and the, the home battery and solar power, you know, we wouldn't have, you know, 10 years ago, we would have actually been able to replace nuclear and coal and all that. But it's more important we bail out the childrens, you see. Uh, so I, and there's no way to predict what kind of technological advancements would, would but it would have been sooner, faster, and cheaper. That much I can assure you. So it's, um, you know, like, what if the Roman Empire never collapsed? Well, we probably would have made it to the moon in 1492 instead of Christopher Columbus discovering America in 1492. But the children! Um, so we'd have lower taxes, higher economic growth, higher income per capita, more technological advancement. Oh, no national debt. Uh, we just wouldn't have to spend the money on bailing out people and their mistakes. <clears throat> and keep in mind, I'm not, I'm not slamming the kids because the kids are innocent. It's the parents that spread their legs under the fucking degenerate scum of the earth right now. That's that's who I really hate. Um, and then here's the other thing. We would have better people because these losers would not breed. And where I will stop supporting the kids, because you, you can't fault the kid. You were born in, you didn't control who your parents were and whether they screwed or not. But then these kids have this amazing capacity to go on and repeat the exact same fucking mistakes as their parents just perpetuating the cycle and having generation and generation of kids you can't afford. So that would have been ended. That would have stopped a long time ago. Uh, again, saving even more money for the kids. And we're not just talking one generation. It would end. It's like, you can't afford kids. It ends. It's done. <laughs> and a lot of people are like, oh, fuck you, Claire. It's like, dude, I don't have kids because I couldn't afford it. I'm one of them. I knew enough. Like, this fucking ends now. No, the line is not going on anymore. 
The clear lines end right fucking now. There's, they're not going to do that. Um, there'll be lower crime. Um, it's just, and, and that's just stress when you have kids you can't afford. Not only does it stress you on your finances, but also your time. Uh, you're going to be more prone to commit crime to make ends meet. Your kids are going to be more prone to commit crime to because they're bored and your father isn't fucking around. Um, what else? Be a lot less divorce if you had nuclear family. Kids are, I mean, if financial troubles are said it is the number one cause of divorce. Well, usually it's because you had kids you didn't afford. It's not, it's not hard. It's not like this is highbrow economics. This isn't like you got to go to college to this. This is wisdom that, w that has been passed on through the ages for the millennia. You know, peasants being cowherders knew this shit. Uh, what else? Oh, a lot less mental health problems. Um, I'm talking real ones and the fake made up ones. You know, the ADHD and autism and asthma, that wouldn't even fucking exist. Um, but then real ones, uh, I don't know. Depression, I guess that'd go. You'd have nuclear families, stable families. Parents will be around, love you. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, men, financial stress causes mental stress. Would you have a breakdowns and all that? It, it just, it, you're, you're, you're absolutely right. Everything would just be better all around. Um, so let me think here. Lower taxes, better people, lower crime, less mental health problems, no national debt, technological advancement, income per capita, roughly, ever so roughly, if you go back to 1965 and reinvest it, you're looking at $100,000 per capita today. Um, yeah, it just it it just be all around a lot better, and there'd be millions of less innocent victims, in the form of kids, and then their kids, and then their kids. They had to go through that fucking shit. I, it just it it'd be a lot better. But uh, this is a nice cute cute theoretical discussion we're having because we all know the feeling of coming for men inside a woman without a condom. That's more important than the advancement of society or the well-being of your own children that you never really wanted. And we know that the Democrats, it's more important that the Democrats be able to take money from Peter to give to Paul because Peter worked hard and Paul couldn't keep it in his pants. Paul's penis couldn't be kept in his pants. And we all got to show how much we care about the children. And let's not forget the education system needs more kids because otherwise those teachers actually have to go get real fucking jobs. And we can't do that. We need to babysit. And remember, we need special ed teachers, too, because we need bad-behaved kids from parents who didn't have enough money to afford them, so they have all sorts of problems. That way, we can have a one-on-one -on -one team. We can hire more teachers. Because teachers so much care about the children. Yeah, it would be, it'd be amazing. I, a buddy of mine said, I said, what? He went to South Korea. I said, what's South Korea like? He says, it's like America in 1957, but with 2057 technology. Because I still think they got it over there. Like, they understand not to have kids out of wedlock. You know, why do those Asians make all the damn money? It must be because whites aren't discriminating against them. You know, we just haven't gone over there to oppress them yet. <laughs> it's like, no, they, they're very traditional. The nuclear family, you're all majoring in engineering. We're going to work hard, spend less than you make. It's not, you know, and don't have kids you can't afford. Oh. Why do Asian families just do so much better? I don't know. Oh. We couldn't learn a lesson from them, could we? All right, that's all we got. You guys got questions, I got answers. As long as you got money at assholeconsulting.com. We'll see you kids later. Toodles.